In this problem, we need to graph a quadratic inequality. And uh, there are some complications here because this uh, can't be easily factored. And uh, it's going to be tough to find the vertex. So we'll need to do a couple of extra steps here to graph this quadratic inequality. I want to be able to find the vertex of this to start with. And once I find the vertex, it's pretty easy to grab points on either side and, and uh, graph the rest of the parabola. To do that, I want to put it in vertex form. So this form right here, y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So there's some value here, and then in parentheses, the x uh, variable um, and some number squared, and then another number on the outside. The vertex is going to be the point hk. So how do I get this thing into this form? Well, what we want to do is um, a, a method of completing the square. So first of all, I've got this 2 uh, on the outside here multiplied by the, uh, the first term. Let's go ahead and factor that out. So I've got y is less than or equal to 2 times x squared plus 10x. That's factoring the 2 out of there. And I'm going to leave the 45 out of this, OK? So that's just going to hang out back here. Now this chunk right here, we're going to work on completing the square with that so that we can put it in to this kind of a form right here. So we want to figure out what we need to add to this to make it a perfect square. Well, we've got our x term is 10x. And remember, when you're completing the square, you divide that by 2. So that's 5. And that's the number when we have our x plus whatever. In this case, it's going to be 5. It's half of this guy. And we square that. Now, when we square that, we get x squared plus 10x. That's all good. That's what we have up here, plus 25. Okay, So the last term, 5 times 5 is 25. So when we put in an x plus 5, we're actually adding well, we're not even adding 25 because this is still multiplied by 2. We're actually adding 50 in here. So if I were to replace this chunk with this x plus 5 squared, which is what I want to do, we're adding 50 inside these parentheses. So what I need to do then is also at the same time subtract 50. So I'm going to put that out there. And I'm going to rewrite this whole thing as y is less than 2 times my completed square here, x plus 5 squared. And then outside here, we had a plus 45 and a negative 50. So that's a minus 5. Now, this inequality is the same as what we started with. It's just been through a lot of manipulations. But now it's in this vertex form. So I can pull this number, uh, negative h. So in this case, it would be a negative 5. That's our x coordinate. And then this number, k, was also a negative 5. So our vertex here is negative 5, negative 5. Let me just plot that. Right there is our vertex. Now this is a, a positive coefficient on the x squared term. So this is going to be an upward opening parabola. So I can expect it to head up this way. Let's go ahead and just plug some values into our original equation um, to grab another few points here. And what I usually like to, like to do is start with a vertex and then go one point to the left and right. So let's put in an x value of negative 4 and also negative 6. So here's negative 4. If I put in a negative 4 here, well, I don't have to use the original equation. This really is the same equation. This might be easier to do. If I put in a negative 4 here, I would get the value 1 inside parentheses. Square that, I've got 1. 1 minus 5 is uh, oops, sorry, I've got to multiply that by 2. So 1, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So negative 6 is, well, actually, let me plot that point really quickly. So negative 4, negative 3. Negative 6 here is going to be the same thing, because remember, this is symmetrical. I mean, you can verify that for yourself. If you put a negative 6 in here, you add 5, you get negative 1. You square that, you get 1. You multiply 2, you get 2. Minus 5 is negative 3. OK, so we've got two points. Let's get two more. I'm going to go one more to the left and right. So this would be the point negative 3, and then on the other direction, negative 7. 
So let's put a negative 3 in here. So negative 3 plus 5 is 2. 2 squared is 4. Times 2 is 8. Minus 5 is a positive 3. And for negative 7, it should be the same thing, but let's just run through it here. Negative 7 plus 5 is a negative 2. Squared is 4 times 2 is 8. Minus 5 is 3. Okay. So negative 3, positive 3 right there. And negative 7, positive 3 right there. All right, so we have enough points now to be able to sketch in our parabola. When we're graphing an inequality of a quadratic, we have to think about a couple of other things. Is the line going to be dashed or solid? It's dashed if it's a regular old greater than or less than. That's the case here. It's only solid if it's a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So we can put in a dashed line. I'll just sketch in here. roughly. Okay, so there's our dashed line. And then the last piece is we have to know where to shade. We shade below the parabola when y is less than. And that's our situation here, y is less than. So all of the, these points below the parabola are going to be shaded. And everything above the parabola, which is really what is inside the parabola here, that's going to remain unshaded. So that is a little bit of work with graphing a slightly more difficult quadratic inequality.